In this Lord of the Rings Rise to War video, we're gonna capture an airy which gives us the eagles, baby. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and I'm really hyped to unlock some freaking eagles. The weird thing about them is that you'll find the Aries, which is basically eagle nests, all through this area. So if you're the elves, congratulations. GG Easy Access and everybody else, good freaking luck. So this is the area where I found them, but maybe there are some other places you can get them. Let me know in the comments if there's other important places you can look to find these crucial eagle nests, okay? So now I'm making my way over there. I have just a few tiles I've got to knock out before I have access to attack. And then we'll be good to go. And, ooh, looks like somebody else has the same idea I do. They might try to cut me off, which wouldn't be very cool now, would it? So we'll see what's about to happen if somebody's about to race me to eagles. All right. I think they're going to try to race me to eagles, which I think is also pretty uncool. That's pretty uncool, but maybe they aren't, but maybe they are. Who knows? Let's just uh, get there first and solve the matter, shall we? Now, this could be a very hard fight. I brought three armies. Maybe I needed four. They might try to snake my kill, which would be very annoying. What's contained in this thing? Two, yes, count them, two level 50 armies. Now, what exactly are those armies composed of? Well, we're about to find out. I'm going to bring one last march into position and then I'm going to launch my attack and we'll be ready to freaking go. Now, I have probably enough time that I could... I didn't even lose any troops. I actually lost nothing taking those lands. That's kind of cool. Those lands are so easy for me now. I literally lose nothing. Lose nothing. So, uh, what do I have here? I have three armies lined up. Level 50, level 48, and uh, Faramir is level 45. So, three armies are in position to be able to take this thing. I have some other armies, okay, that are in my home base, which I recently relocated. And if you're wondering, how do you relocate your base? Card up in the top for that video, and you can check that out. I launched that, I don't know, by the time I launched this video, uh, maybe yesterday. <laughs> it's been a crazy, crazy first season in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So in 137, Gimli connects, and then I figure out what the two armies are that are in here. We'll be right back, folks. And would you look at that? I'm unsurprised that the dude is trying to snake this thing right from out underneath me. I hope my armies are strong enough and it's not so close that um, he ends up getting it and I do all the work. It could work out that way. Oh, yeah, dude, this other guy's totally going for it. Is this a moment where you attack a member of your own faction? It might be. It might be one of those moments where you're like, you know what? I just betray him. Betray him and get out of here, bro. Come on, that's so lame. That is the maximum extreme level of lameness. And look at the timing of his marches. He he may time his have timed his marches just right that he gets it. Oh, what what a freaking troll this dude is. I I I I might be about to get trolled super hard right now. Which is really frustrating. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. He saw I was going for it. I'm the one who connected to it. Don't be that person, bro, but he's about to be that person. I think that with the timing of his marches, he's actually going to get this thing. And that is definitely very annoying. Hmm. Do I betray? Do I betray? But do I? But should I? I mean... But should I? Let's find out what happens. Who gets it? Probably not going to be me. I can't. He's totally going to get it. He's totally going to get it. Oh, I got it. He knows what he was doing. Oh, I can't believe I got that. That's unbelievable. I mean, definitely get wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked. Okay. Victory here. And um, if I could do an emoji in game, I would do it. Dude, he knows what he did, and it was so uncool. Don't you sneak up on me when I'm doing that. Go to the other one. You want to go to another? Go to the other one, bruh. All right, well, rip you and hooray me. Betray me. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm so combative right now. I'm, maybe I'm just being entertaining for the camera, but 
Let's talk about what just happened in those reports. Yeah. Cool off, just cool. So what happened? Step one, Eagles crushed them. Step two, Eagles crushed them. Step three, durability damage, which is interesting. I didn't realize this had so much durability damage you had to deal. And then the next step was more durability damage. I don't know why I got that and he didn't because I thought the timing of his marches would have given him access to that. So that worked out like really well in my favor. And I genuinely am not sure. Maybe someone can help me out with why it is that I got that and he didn't. So this is Radagast the Brown. And I'm shocked at how easy these eagles were to take down. Maybe he just didn't have that many of them. Is that why that worked out? Oh, no. It's because he has no equipment. He forgot to wear some equipment, I guessed. I, I, I guess. I mean, maybe that's what's going on here. And he's only got the one unit type, which is Eagle, so not a lot of army diversity. Could that be what's going on? And I have axe throwers, and those axe throwers are ranged. And is the beast, is this a large unit? Is the Eagle a large unit? It's a very fast animal that gets stronger. I don't know if it counts as a large unit. It might. It counts as a beast, but wow. Okay, so in terms of what you would bring to beat the Eagles, I thought I would have a lot to say, but I'll show you what I was using. Right? Some Ram Riders. I've got in here my T4 Dwarven Tank Unit, the Iron Warriors, and then, boom, the Master Throwers, which against large units do extra damage. I don't think those are large units, though. They just count as beasts, right? And against melee units, which I think they do count as, I have 20% extra damage. Again, I'm still very confused about how that sequencing worked out in my favor, but now they can go to the next area and get themselves some Eagles over there. If I make my way over to my base, you can see that I can now hire eagles. And hiring eagles is not going to be cheap. I smash the hire button, and yeah, it's gold and a bunch of other stuff. I'm just going to straight up, like, fill my barracks with the, the with eagles here. And then at some point, I'm going to make a beast army. I'm going to do it, man. So I'm going to go and start to recruit some eagles just <laughs> for whatever space I have. Let's get them right now. And we'll queue those up, man. And in a separate video, I will review this unit and tell you how it performs and how I have optimized it. But here is how you've unlocked it, baby. If you enjoyed the drama of this video, which was completely unexpected and unscripted, then uh, consider throwing a like on here and subscribing. Also, you can see this was like really shockingly easy to take. And again, if you want to find more of these eagle's nests, they're like all through these mountains, baby. There's a lot of them. Good luck. Let me know if you've got any tips for eagles. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies. Take care, everybody.